All right, today we got called out to look at this uh, 2010 128 BMW, and uh, the complaint is that it's not starting and it's not turning over. So uh, I'm kind of suspecting a starter. I'll go ahead and walk you through the steps I'm going to use to test that with just a test light, and no special computers or anything like that. Go ahead and show you. So I'm going to put the key in. Hit the start button. Sorry about it being dark. I'm in a giant parking lot. Nothing. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the front. We're going to go straight to the starter. And uh, we're going to test for power there. And if we got power there, very, uh, very solid diagnostic on a, a starter. So we're going to check for power that's constantly there, and then we're also going to check for the power when the ignition is turned on. I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so we're going to take a test light, pick it up to this ground over here. I don't know if you can see that. And then test it. See it, make sure it works. Alright. So then what I find is easiest is you put that there. Alright. Hook up hook up a jumper wire. Kind of have to be able to do this on our own. And then a really long screwdriver. Alright. We're going to come down. It's going to be really tough to see. Down in there, you can see the starter. So you just touch the big terminal with the hot wires coming in. And look, test light. It is good. So then we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna rest it on this copper braid that goes from the starter to the solenoid. Alright. Then we're gonna go in the car and we're gonna see if that test light lights. Once I found the key. And it does. So that confirms that we have a starter. Or that we need a starter. Because we have both power to the starter constantly. And we have power supplied to the solenoid when we push the ignition. So I'm calling a starter. Try to get you a better shot real quick of uh, how to test up there. So, intake manifold, and then really tough to see. If you look back in there, there's going to be a little copper wire, a bare copper wire going from the starter to the solenoid, and that's the one that you want to check when it's hot. And then to the right of it is going to be a plate with two red wires coming into it. You can just touch that plate to check for the constant hot. Alright, if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for the support. Bye.